Welcome back everyone to the Complete Pine Leaf. Last time we decided that Laris decided to unite the various forces of Mordor under her control. After dealing with Dulgabeth, that is. And now we need to figure out what we're going to do in reaction to that. A Mordor united against us does not lend itself to easy solutions. I have given the situation some thought, but a Mordor united against us doesn't lend itself to easy solutions. Before the meeting of the Masters, I feared the ascendancy of Dulgabeth, the mouth of Sauron. Now he's dead, and there are others arrayed before us, wielders of powerful weapons and forges of unexpected alliances. Laris the Stained, Borngos the Horror, Ugrahor of the Gurzil. These names are to be feared individually, but when they share our destruction as a common purpose, we must not fear them. We must fight them. Rather, let the masters of Mordor fear us. Are we not united against them? Scouts of many lands and many backgrounds adventure here now in Gorgoroth and they pursue knowledge that might bring us the undoing of these masters. Seek first Gwenthir of Gondor, near the ruins of Dingarth in Dormarth, and then look for Hartholin, west of Faltorgam in Argonite. Yeah, I guess she is still there. On your way back to me, pass through Talath Uri and call, consult with Fenka of the Rohirrim. These three reports may help us to form an effective strategy. Right. Very well. I shall do so. We'll begin with Gwynthir, southeast of the ruins of Dingar. It appears that Gwynthir is looking towards the path to Hlingris. Orcs and evil men have been stirred into sudden wakefulness. I did not expect to see you, Pineleaf. Has the sudden movement of troops drawn your attention to? It hasn't? Then allow me to tell you what I have seen, and perhaps you will know what has caused it. Orcs and evil men have stirred into sudden wakefulness by some directive that is unknown to me. Small groups of these foes have traveled across Udun and Dormarth since I came to this inhospitable place, but never in such numbers. I believe they received urgent orders from one of their leaders, and it has compelled them to depart the Doomfold with such haste. But I can't say where they have gone, for I do not know. But this I do know. They go where they can do the most damage to Gondor and her allies. How can this be otherwise? Other scouts may know more, but to, to th go to them and speed to match w that of our foes. Alright, so go to Hartholin and Faltergarn in Argonite and see what she has to say about things. Now that's a nasty looking bog lurker. I think we should deal with that before we find our elf friend. Because this thing doesn't look like something that you want to be hovering around you. There, there you go. Now, where is she? Ah, I think that's her up ahead. Hello! I encountered something most peculiar and want to hear your thoughts. Yes, I'm pleased to see you, Pineleaf, for I encountered something peculiar. Not far from here, I tracked a company of Ugrakor's orcs through the swamp, intending to surprise them at the right moment and make them corpses. Before such a moment presented itself, I was robbed of my prey. Another party fell upon the orcs and rended them all into pieces. The ambushers were Merivale Pineleaf. They swooped down from the heights and left no orc alive. But I thought Ugrakor and Larith were allies. Why are their minions slaying each other? Hmm. <laughs> I do not complain, though, for there is something strange in this, and if we learn 
what has them at odds, we might turn it to our advantage. Alright, so we've got troops moving all over the place. It looks like the Merival and Ugrakor aren't as getting along together as we had thought. So, I suppose that means we need to find Thenka now. Ah, this must be Thenka. I am all right now. Do not trouble yourself. I engaged in battle with a party of orcs, but the fighting went against me and I sustained this injury. I thought my days were done, but the creatures did not stay to ensure it. Their leaders called them away before they made sure that I would not recover. To think I would have names such as Plankaj and Drakla to think for my life, but that is so now. The orcs were looking for someone. They spoke of the Weeping Warrior as they departed. Their language is harsh and guttural. I could not make sense of such their talk, but I think Urukor ordered them to find this warrior at any cost. They split into two groups as they left me, and Plakash and Durklot plan to return to Durthang and Kirith Ungul to regroup. Don't worry about me, Pineleaf. I am mostly recovered from my injury. I give my thanks to no orc, but still, I am grateful that Lugokor's minions feared his commands enough to leave me carelessly behind. Still alive? Alright, fine. Hmm. What does Mithrandir think about all of this? Things are getting curiouser and curiouser, Mithrandir. This is why I like you, my friend. Before, it seemed the forces arrayed against us had the upper hand, Pineleaf. But now you return with information that we can use to oppose our enemies. What has caused this rift between Ugrakor and Larith? And for what fell purpose do Ugrakor's orcs seek the Weeping Warrior? Well, that is a good question. Yes, I know of the one called Karazgar, the Weeping Warrior. Karazgar is numbered among the Gurzil, and has crossed my path before, though not for many years. I have known him to be an active primarily in the east and in the north, but in times of great strife I have heard reports that he was seen further afield and in unexpected places. I find it curious that none have seen him in Golgoroth of late, and you did not see him at the meeting of the Masters? He's missing, and his absence troubles me. Why did he not come to Golgoroth when Sauron had need of him, as the others did among the Gurzil? Why does Ugrakor seek him now, and for what purpose? Find one of the leaders f whom Thinka spoke, either Plakash or Durklot, and you may learn why they search for Kyrosgar. Thinka believe the orcs are made for Durthank or Kirithungul. Go to one of these towers and compel the orc to divulge his orders. Right. Durthank or Kirithungul. Yeah, neither of them is a particularly pleasant place. Welcome back to Durthang. At least this time I have several levels over the last time I was here. And I also have updated legendary items now. Which means that these guys aren't going to last very long. And here is Plakash. On what he's gonna say. Probably something like, die. Ha! What did you hope to gain by coming here? A quick death? Black I should be happy to give it to you, as he has given death to so many other fools who dared the fortress of Darthang. Speak your last words, and I will spill your guts and inspect them for both fearlessness and foolishness. <laughs> 
weeping warrior? Karaskore? Why should I tell you anything, brazen hobbit? Urahor wants him. Weeping warrior knows something about the artifact. Boom, Tatish, and the captain of the pit is going to make him talk. My boys found out where he went. Hill of sorcery in the old woods, where the big bosses used to tramp. My boys have already set out, and I'll follow them next. But first, I'll take care of you. I'll open you up and see what makes you bold enough to ask questions of Plakash. <laughs> now, it's time to die. Of course, he's the one mob here in Urukor that's a higher level than I am. I mean, dirt things. Yeah, I can't even get the names right. Huh. A semi-productive trip. Did you learn why Ugrahor seeks the Weeping Warrior? I see from your expression that you learned something of use, but perhaps not the entirety of what we sought. I think that just about describes it. Hmm. It is better than I feared, Pine Leaf. There are still gaps in our knowledge, but the Orc has given us more than I expected. It appears that Urukor expects to find Karazgar at the Hill of Sorcery, a phrase used in relation to the fortress of the Necromancer. Yes, I speak of Dol Guldor. That must be where Karazgar is gone, and it would appear that he searches for an artifact, something called Boogdatish. I have never before heard this name, but it means little. There is room among the dark arts of Sauron for such mysteries. If you're in search for Karazgar and Dol Guldor, you will need to make haste. The Lord and Lady of Lorien have entered Mirkwood and prepare to raise the fortress. And the final mission of, Dol of the Golden Host is underway. And if you are to find the Weeping Warrior and get some answers about this relic he seeks, you must leave at once. Do not stand around gawking at me, Pine Leaf. Go, 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 quickly. All right, so. I need to find Celeborn and Galadriel in Mirkwood. Ah, good. And there's still a Thongohad, so perhaps there's still a little bit of time. Hello, Celeborn. Our siege has proven successful. I am glad that you have returned to us, Pine Leaf. The brave advance of the Maladrim into the forest has borne fruit. Our siege has proven successful. With the defeat of Sauron, the time has come to cleanse the lands that felt his foul touch. It's not enough to besiege Mirkwood and the fortress that stands atop the Hill of Sorcery. We must scour this place of the mark and of its memory. This was the fortress of the Necromancer, the guy Sauron wore when he sought to recover his strength and regain the advantage while our sight was veiled. It was the mission of the Golden Host to seize the fortress, but that mission has changed. The fortress must now be destroyed. Mm hmm. So... You must seek this Karasgar then quickly, or the artifact will be forever buried beyond our reach. So, to might he, if he ignores the fury of the elves. It comes now to the fortress and will not abate. Alright. Well. What do you say? My patience is at an end. For too long has this den of evil festered beneath the trees. Not content to remain behind the walls of the fortress, the evil spread throughout the forest. Mirkwood was made of it, as should never have been. If the forest is to be renewed and its beauty restored, the fortress of the necromancer must be raised to the foundations and its remaining corruptions brought into the light. There they may wither and die, their malice slain, 
and their potential for evil undone. I will not endanger my people who remain within the fortress. Yes, I ask that you climb to the hill and recall those of the Golden Host who remain. Tell them to leave the fortress, for soon it will no longer darken the hill upon which it stands. Their vigil is no longer needed. Bring them all from the fortress, Pine Leaf. All of them. Leave no one behind. Right, and that means I have an opportunity to find Karasgar and this artifact, I presume. But it also means going back to Dol Guldor. It's been a while since I've been to this place. The mission of a golden host nears its end. The lady has come to Dol Guldor? Then it's true. The mission nears an end. We will make our way from the fortress as you ask. There is another sentry post ahead where our brothers and sisters stand vigil against new incursions of the enemy. Go to them and deliver your message, and we will see you again at the base of the hill. Very well. Next. Feel surreal coming through here while not running a skirmish. Found another group of sentries within the walls here in the second ward. I will lead my warriors to safety, but will you do something for me? I hear your message, and I'll lead my warriors to safety. This morning, we found the covered passage leading to a hidden stair. We sought to explore the depths, but my warriors encountered another sh powerful shadow and turned back. But you wield the light of Erendel, and its luminance may buoy you even in the deepest darkness. Will you investigate the hidden stair of this room of shadow? Only a work of great evil could have left such a powerful mark upon the secret wing of the fortress. The lady will soon raise Dol Guldor, but I do not want to leave this mystery unexamined. Seek out the secret and return. I will ask the lady to delay until you have emerged safely from the dungeons. Well, thank you for that. The secret stairway is down the slope and beyond the raised portcullis. Look to the left after you pass through and you will see the door that leads to the secret stair. Alright. Down to the secret stair. Well, there is the portcullis, I suppose, that he's talking about. Now into the third ward of this place. Uh, these orcs are so scared of my name, they... Alright, well, I suppose we go into here, maybe? What lies beyond this room of deep shadow? We'll have to find that out in the next episode of The Complete Finally.